Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. And uh, my friends, you guessed it. We have yet another amazing guest on the show this morning, full-time business owner using strong calls to action in her reels to build her audience. And she's going to be talking about that and so much more. Let's jump into this. Sherry, okay. welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Excited to to share a little bit. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, even the, the, you know, even the gurus and the, and the, you know, the experts have, uh, you know, technical challenges sometimes. So, um, by the way, one of the things that's uh, unique about this show, friends, if you don't know, or this is one of your first times tuning in, um, all of our guests are, are clients of our, of our, of our company. Here and uh, we interview them to uh, give you a peek behind the curtains and uh, let you know what it's like to go through the education, what it's like to launch your business. Um, there's no production set here; it's just me inside of my home office uh, interviewing our clients here. So, at any time, anything could happen. Um, Sherry, where are you calling in from this morning? I am in Hamilton, Ohio. Okay, nice. And did we do any prep or planning or scripting with you this morning before the show? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, not just, at all. Just... <laughs> it's all going to be real here today, so. <laughs> Love it. All Don't right, so, <laughs> so tell tell us, you know, what got you kind of interested in wanting to start an online business in the first place. Okay. Um, so we can understand a little bit of your okay. kind of backstory and motivation. Sure. Okay. So let me just share a little bit about kind of our, I'll give you the, the short version of our story here, but I've been in business. I, I I'm truly a entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur. You know, I just love the entrepreneurship, um, you know, being my own person and, and uh, not being owned by someone else. Um, but, you know, I had about 25 years of insurance background and was pretty successful in that. Um, sold my insurance agency um, and started a brick and mortar. My husband and I, we started a brick and mortar store uh, where we it's very experiential. So you come in and you make candles and body products and um, things like that in, in your sense. So what happened? So we've been about eight years doing that. Um, we opened a second store about a year ago in the largest sports complex in the country. So um, we expected for a lot of influx of the people coming in for tournaments to want have downtime and looking for something to do. But it's been challenging to um, let the people coming in from all over the country know we're there. So we're still working on that piece of it. So um, so my thought is, is, you know, we've had some great success on our social medias, you know, gathering, letting people, our local people know what we're doing. So, um, my, my, you know, so I started doing some research, started seeking out something that we can do that's not a re required to carry products and inventory and all of these high inventory or high, uh, things that are sitting on my, my warehouse floor you know, just money sitting there. Um, so, you know, I started doing some research and with my back, a little bit of background that I have in social media and things like that, um, taking the things that I've learned and kind of taking it into the next step, the next level. So one of the, the things that when we started eight years ago, we actually bought into a product or to a program that taught us how to get into an experiential business. And it, although we did learn, we spent a ton of money and it was not um, the gentleman that trained not just us, but a lot of people across the country almost kind of scammed people. So I have a bad taste in my mouth about this. I want I have a true passion to help other people start their own business. And so I, I can't find a better way to do that and have low overhead than to do a digital marketing um, and learn how to do that and create affiliate programs um in, in that so that's kind of how i come across this um, i came across legendary marketer all by accident um or or a god thing um, i like to think it's a god thing um, but i've tried many things and um you know i've, I've bought into many shiny objects 
mm. and um, just never felt authentic to me, never felt real. But this is different um, to me. And so I'm excited to learn every single day, um, you know, what I can, how I can grow and help other people in this venture as well. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. And, um, you know, one of the things, thank you for that, that context and that backstory, uh, you and your, um, uh, it's your husband that you're in business with. That's right. Yeah. My husband, Mike. Well, you two sound like, you know, awesome people, just great, great, fun, adventurous, um, entrepreneurial folks. And, and that's just, um, right up my alley. You know, um, I, I wonder what, you know, feels different about this to you. For me, the the thing that feels different about this is the fact that it's transferable to other uh, businesses and that I can use these business and even life skills uh, no matter what I'm doing. I, I mm-hmm. even here at Legendary, we teach four different business models. And, and before this, uh, you know, the things that I had tried were, for example, MLMs, where I was really just being trained to only do that business mm-hmm. and those products. And I, I didn't really particularly like those products. You know, you didn't really have a choice as to what products you could sell. In in one case, I remember I was selling beauty products, you know, uh, in another one, I was selling lotions, potions, and pills, you know, in another one, I was selling numismatic coins, you know, uh, none of which I was really actually passionate about, uh, until I, f- I found this. Um, and when I say this, I mean, I mean, I found affiliate marketing and I found, people online teaching me how to generate leads on the internet and drive traffic and build email list. And those skills have applied to um, everything that I've done since then, allowed me to start new companies, allowed me to launch new courses, allowed me to la- to, to promote new affiliate, uh, new products as an affiliate. What, I just wanted to give some context and go first on, on the question, what, what about this feels or felt different to you? Well, what I well feels different to me is a lot of the programs that I have been involved in in the in the past is you know they they give a lot of promises you know you follow these step by steps it's all about it's it's not adjustable to my business and what I do it's all about following these these four whatever's how many steps and you're going to make a million dollars and so for us it's not all about the money it's all, it's about helping other people. Um, so, and that's why we're an experiential type business. So this, this is different because I can tweak this to, to fit our brick and mortar store Mm. and also help other people that want to do the same thing or maybe do it digitally. It's just, it's so, uh, adjustable. You know, um, one of the things I do very well is pivot. Um, if something's not working, I pivot. If it Mm. does work, I, 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 I change it and make it better. So I'm able, I feel like I, I'm very, very new at this. I just finished, or I'm close to finishing the fishing formula. But as I, as I go through the fishing formula, I, I, I can see the little bits and pieces here and there that I've learned, but now I'll be able to do it systematically and put these things in place that fit our business. Mm. Maybe with the brick and mortar, well, I've already been successful with this in the brick and mortar because I took what I learned in the, the five day challenge tweaked a couple emails and was able to generate about two twenty one hundred dollars mm. that um, just by tweaking some of the things I learned in the five day challenge. Mm. Um, so I know then then it's going to work. So it's it's actionable things that I can actually add to what I'm already doing and create systems to make it even better. Mm. Um, and so the, I mean, I just love the way you present the, the information. You know, it's very exciting, very um, easy for me to follow along because like a lot of the other programs, I would get lost. I'd be, it'd be like overwhelming. Yeah. And, um, you know, you get to a certain point, it'd be, I'd be completely lost. Yeah. Uh, and so with this, I have not been. So I, it re, I relate to it um, with some of this, you know, what I've already learned over the last eight, 10 years. Um, Mm. so I feel like I'm just able now to go to the next step that I, you know, all these other programs, you know, you spend the money and it just drops off and just sits there. Um, Mm. this is, this is not going to be like that. 
this yeah. is um, my only shiny object at the at the moment. You know, <laughs> this is the only thing I'm committed to. Um, well, good, and good for you. I just I just really strongly feel like this is our next step um, yeah. in this in business. Yeah, well, I'm I'm glad, so glad, Sherry, um, that that the information is landing with you, that it's clear, that it's uh, you know, that it's resonating. It, it, it what's what's fascinating is everybody can have that same experience. You just have to actually take the time to go through the education. Yeah. Now, I know it can be time consuming. I know it can be, yeah. you know, I know it can be a commitment, but everything in business is a commitment. Yes. And if you want to learn something that's valuable, you're going to have to go and spend the time to learn it. And how many of our fellow American citizens, you know, and people around the world, when they want to upgrade their career, you know, go and uh, sit inside of a classroom uh, for two to four years to get the next degree, which usually runs, you know, multi deck of thousands. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about, mm -hmm. I mean, a, 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 a degree from a, from a, um, you know, a, a, uh, credible, you know, uh, good college is, is, is 20 to $50,000 in some cases, oh, yeah. some, sometimes more. Um, you know, so you're gonna, anything worth doing in learning is going to take some time. But the truth is, is that, it is easy to follow. And the reason why I also know that it's easy to follow is because friends, I'm a ninth grade dropout. Okay. I, I'm not, I'm not going to use words that you don't understand. I'm yeah. not going to deliver things in a way that's over your head. I'm just not going to do it. I know, I know that about myself. I I'm, I'm good at a couple of things in life. Um, you know, speaking in complicated terms is not one of them. Um, and, and I'm also not good at a bunch of other things. I'm not shiny either. I'm, you know, I've crafted and, and perfected and mastered this skill. And the reason why is, is because I've used it so much. And the same thing will happen to each one of you. As you go through this education and begin to apply it, you will also be able to talk intelligently about it. You will also be able to, you know, to 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 share it with others and to apply it into your business the same way that you can with the job that you do right now that you've been doing for 5, 10, 20 years, whatever. You know, you can do that in your sleep. Well, the reason why this is hard for so many people and why so many people struggle is because they don't do what you just said, which is take the time to go through and learn the foundational skills by dedicating yourself in just learning the stuff. You know, we have a, a training going on right now that we do every, every two weeks for all of our blueprints members. It's called decade in a day where we, where we you know do our best to try to take a decade's worth of our learning and know how and pack it into a day and teach all of our clients how to enter into a brand new niche that they've never even heard of and probably didn't know that they could go in and have a business inside of, you know, whether that's the coffee niche or the financial niche or the real estate niche or the um, chicken coop uh, building niche or the, you know, there's, I mean, we've gone into so many different niches over over time here, um, and taught the A to Z, everything that you need to know in terms of your landing page, your funnels, your, um, lead magnet, your emails, using artificial intelligence to help you write some of the stuff to do market research, uh, what type of content to create. If you were going to create a specific theme page in that particular niche, I mean, you can go in there, um, to some of those replays and, and watch or attend live. Um, and uh, I think that folks just don't, you know, I think you've hit it a couple of times so far in this interview, and I want to go back to it. That shiny object syndrome is powerful because yeah. the minute that somebody, you know, and it's a scientific thing, it's not like we're just, we're, it's not like we're just, you know, it's, it's, not it's it's a phenomenon that's unexplainable we get a dopamine rush from from being in contemplative mode to starting something new 
Okay. It's a dopamine and an adrenaline rush, right? And once that rush wears off, that's why you get a rush. I get a rush from shopping. Okay. Going shopping is an adrenaline and a dopamine and many other chemicals that are released inside of your body when you're doing it. Right. And then when you get home and you, you know, you've had the bag for a few days or the clothes sit in the closet that all wears off. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my things that my mom, bless her, bless her heart w w was, was notorious for was going and shop, going shopping and then, and then returning things. Now I love her and I loved going shopping with her and I still love going shopping to this day, but she loved shopping so much, you know, she would go and, and buy stuff and then she would take half of it back, you know, because she just enjoyed the process of shopping so much. Uh, and she she bought me many things. She was a shoe salesman. She she bought me many shoes, and I was very spoiled in that particular way. Now, back to how this affects us in this industry. We we buy something. We watch somebody for a certain amount of time, and we think that oh, if we just were doing what they were doing and not what we're doing, then maybe we'll be successful, and we get ourselves all excited. Because what we're doing is boring because we can see it. What they're doing is exciting. We don't really know. We just see bits and pieces of it. And so then all of a sudden we go buy something new. We get a big dopamine rush. You know, we're really excited. And then when that excitement wears off in the work, whether that be the learning or the applying, it comes to, to time to do that. The novelty, the newness, the excitement wears off. And we then start searching for that kind of dopamine, that adrenaline rush again. And that becomes a cycle. And that's the same. It's kind of almost like addiction. You mm -hmm. know, it's the same thing in gambling addiction. It's the same thing in even drug addicts. You know, many of you know the, about my substance sobriety. It's the same thing with that. You know, you get all excited about the rush and the chase of going to get it or going to the bar or whatever. But then once you're there, you're like, why am I here again? You know, why, why did I do this again? Same thing with gambling, same thing with all the other addictions. And so, so there's an element of discipline. There's an element of, 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 of delayed gratification that we have to apply here if we want to be successful at business, because it's not all going to be so exciting every second that we're going to, right. We have to, we have to delay the gratification a little bit and not get caught up in the shiny object syndrome of the grass is greener on the other side. Instead, the grass is going to be greener wherever the heck you water it at. Right. Sherry, what comes up for you as I ran to look now you gave me this idea and I think you know how important it is because you've brought it up a couple of times. What else comes up for you around the shiny object syndrome point? Well, what comes up for me is the, you know, I, I think that we're always, or at least for me, I'm seeking to do better. I'm a learner. I love to learn. So I'm always seeking um, something better than what we, we're, we're doing, I'm doing now. And so I think in this shiny object syndrome, you're always looking for that help, you know, somebody to help you along the way. Um, and what I learned is, is that I personally need to understand the why, why am I doing this? Why does this work this way? Why, why, why? It's always, you know, just like my grandkids, why mammal, why mammal? And that's, that's what it is. Why, why am I doing this? So I I'm had, in that phase with a three-year-old right now. I love the hat throw there, Dave. I got it on day one. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you got a double throw. That's cool. It's all triple. <laughs> but you know the why. Why am I doing this? And so even in our, our brick and mortar, it's like why? It's because we love helping people. My husband and I both. We love helping people. We love sharing. Uh, you know, during COVID, we, all, when it, we come back, we always said, you know, we live in this crazy world. When they come into our store, we want them to feel different when they left our store. And so it's kind of the, you know, the same thing with the shiny object. I think we're always looking for something, looking for something better, something to make us feel better, you know, some hope and all of that. 
So for me, when I was, you know, looking at these shiny objects, I would, you know, start a program and I would learn very quickly. It's, it's, it's you know, well, do this, 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 and this, do what I say and you will be successful. Well, that doesn't work for me. I got to dig in it. I got to know the why. And this is why I think this program is different. You're, you're teaching the why. Why do you do this? Why, you know, do you, you know, why are these formulas important? You know, I went through the Facebook formula funnel last night and the YouTube funnel, and it's, it, it all kind of made sense. So this is why we do this, you know, yeah. and, and these steps and why we do it. So for me, it's, you know, understanding this why. And um, this is, this is, you know, feels like very doable for me because I'm understanding a why and then I'm able to put action behind it and see the result, um, mm -hmm. you know. Just like I said, I, I already tested the couple, you know, the nuggets that I learned in the day, five day challenge and it worked. It, I mean, you know, brick and mortar stores, retail is tough right now with the economy being the way it is. So when I was able to do that with some of our wholesale clients, I was like, wow, I saw my husband, this worked, you know, and super excited. So being able to understand it and being able to apply it and see result, um, that's very, very important to me. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's here. Um, so, you know, I'm just in the early, early, early stages of all of this. So I can't imagine, you know, I can't wait for a year to pass and see, you know, where I am a year from now. Well, I, I love that. And I, you know, you got such a great attitude. Um, you know, you're absolutely right. The, the, the desire to learn new skills are, are usually within all of us. And we have to have, you know, discipline around our learning because unfortunately, you know, most of the time in this, in this wild world of the internet, you know, we buy something and then move on to the next thing without mm -hmm. learning everything there is to learn. And you right. just, you end up not squeezing all of the juice out of the lemon, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you want to just make sure that you just squeeze all the juice. Uh, there's, there's usually just, and that's what we find here with our clients at Legendary is that, you know whether it be we meet them at masterminds or on coaching calls it's just there's they've not they've not torn open everything and whether that's an accountability thing whether that's a a discipline thing whether whatever it is it, you know uh, it 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 really doesn't matter um the point is is that you have to figure out how to do it no matter what it's like going to the gym if that's your goal you got to figure out how to go to the gym no matter what um, you know, if that means that you get up and you set an alarm and you go, that's great. If you mm -hmm. need it, if you need a trainer to be sitting there waiting on you, that's fine too. Uh, we, we recently offered an accountability element. Um, and, um, you know, most of you or a lot of you saw that, uh, where our, um, our head accountability coach, Bonnie King is, um, uh, I interviewed her actually, a, I think it was a week ago today. And we offered accountability uh, coaching for those of you who need that. Go back and watch that last Friday, if that's something that you're something that you're wanting. The bottom line is you need to know yourself, and you need to be honest with yourself about what you need, and also then set boundaries within your own personal life in order to make sure that you get it done. Now you have experience with that. You and your husband work together. How do you both? how do you communicate with him? How do you guys work together? What makes it work? I'm looking for tips for not only people who work with their spouse, but more, more people don't work with their spouse. So how can somebody communicate, look, this is going to take some time. Okay. I need to learn these skills. It's like I'm going to college. Okay. And I need your support on this. How do you get your husband's support for you to take the time to learn new skills that may not pay off right away, right? It's not, as you said, it's not going to be a million dollars in the bank account tomorrow from this. Um, but there, if, if, if I apply it, we're going to get results. And obviously you have shown him by even applying some of the strategies to your traditional business and generating income, which I love to hear um, but talk to us a little bit about that relationship between you and your husband, as well as how could somebody gain the support of their spouse as they're doing this from home 
where it looks like they're available all the time, but they really are trying to focus on getting this education and then applying themselves, which is going to take time behind the screen, right? And and again, mm-hmm. that can be frustrating to the other spouse where they can see you there in the house behind the screen and they don't really understand what you're working on and you're telling them, I'm not available, I got to do this, but they're going, well, you're sitting right there in the house. So h- how do you navigate that with your husband? And it may be totally synergistic with you, but some people it's a struggle. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it is a struggle. Um, you know, my husband and I have been married almost over 30 years. So, you know, uh, and we are definitely opposites. You know, they say opposites attract. Absolutely, we are opposite. But I will say he has always given me the freedom to do. I'm more entrepreneurial. And I say he came along into the entrepreneurial um, world with me when he lost his job back in um, 2020 because of COVID after 35 years with corporate, right? You know, um, so, you know, he has uh, graciously come along. And so he, he lo- he's a storyteller. So he loves to tell stories. I'm more back end. I love the back end part of everything. So, you know, I think it's allowing each partner to um, do what they do do what they do best. You know, this, this thing here, this is what I do best. And what he does best is working with our customers. And, you know, he, he's very good at, at making um, our wholesale, you know, lines and, you know, just different things like that. So I think it's letting each person do what they do the best and, um, and having grace with each other. It's not always easy um, because, in, you know, I, my mind goes hundred miles an hour. I'm always, you know, I have a schedule. I have you know, I, I have my schedule every day. I, I like things listed out. And so, you know, he kind of gives me the freedom to be able to do what I want, what I need to do in order to to help our business grow. And he does what he needs to do, um, you know, in order to make our business grow. Um, and then we come to, you know, we, we kind of do our own thing. And then we come together, um, usually at nighttime, you know, we're, um, you know, I, I try not to work in the evening because I could be on uh, in front of the computer 24 seven. You know, I wake up to it. I go to bed and, you know, it, I could be on. I could work all the time. Um, he needs you know, he's not the same way. So I try to not work in the evening for that reason. You know, but we don't get home till eight or nine, ten o'clock. So depending on our hours at our store. But um, so I think it's giving grace to each other, although, although it's not always easy. Um in, in communication. Um, mm. I think that's over, you know, after 30 years, you kind of learn each other and um, just give that grace, I guess, um, yeah. to each other to do yeah. what they, each partner does best. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I love that. I, I want to go back to your, you know, your mention of using these strategies first and foremost in your own in, in your, in your, um, brick and mortar business. One of the things that I always tell people to do is, you know, look around at your existing business, even your job that you may have and, and ask yourself, you know, where, where can I apply these skills right here, right now to something that I'm already doing? Because every test is a good test. Anywhere that I can get, go look, you know, transition from learning to OJT. Right. You know what OJT stands for, right? No. On the job training. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anywhere I can transition, you know, that's always been my form of training. You know, when I went to work with my dad construction, it was all OJT, baby. There was no time. There was no time. There was no money to send me away to construction school or trade school or anything like that. It was like, if you want to earn, you need to be on the job. And you're going to learn as you earn, basically. And so that OJT concept can be applied here as well. And one of the places where it can be applied is to your existing business or even job, right? Yes, friends, your job. Now, why do I say that? Why would I want to add value to somebody who, you know, I, I to a business I don't own? And Well, because learn how to be valuable no matter where you're at. Learn how to be, yeah, absolutely, integrity, for sure. Um, 
but learn how to be valuable. I mean, what if you already have an existing job and you're going through this training and you're learning these skills, what a perfect testing ground that could be for you to be able to test some of these concepts to see if they work. And, and email would be one of the, the every single business should have email marketing happening where you're collecting leads or if you already have a form of collecting leads, you could upgrade that to um, generate more leads instead of just having a, a, a form on your website, you know, mm -hmm. give something away, drive people to it, give something away for free. Co start collecting email addresses when people come into your store and start emailing that list, specials, updates, what's going on in your store this week, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So many different um, opportunities. Email them all of the, you know, people don't know what's happening in your store. People don't know what's happening in the business. Let them know. That's where they go to find out. Email's better than social media. People don't realize this. Mm -hmm. You know, email's better than social media because people go there to, to do business. They go there focused. They go there to read. They're not just in a passive scrolling state. And so, I love that you did this. You took the initiative. You brought this up. We're talking about this because of what you did. Talk to us about how somebody could apply these skills in an existing job or business and what you did um, to, to bring in an extra, I think, two plus grand there, just I think with maybe an existing email list that you had. Talk to us a little bit about this and the, the overarching idea, which is kind of how you do one thing is how you do everything. You can't suck in an existing job or business and think you're going to launch your own business and all of a sudden crush it. Use right. every opportunity you can to apply these skills and strategies. And then when it's time to launch your own business, you know, you can launch it and you'll be just as successful. Anyways, talk to us about what you did and your thoughts on that. Well, over the um, last eight years with our candle bar, we've collected over 4,000 emails. Um, I have yes, not I been consistent as what I should be and what I even more consistent that I will be in the future with some of the things that I've learned. So what I did is I took some of the nuggets that I learned in the five day challenge to create a better uh, top or uh, 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 opening subject line um, to for five dollars for five dollars. Friends, you hear that? And people yeah, say, yeah, no doubt. I mean, come on now. You got to mine that gold. Yeah. Sorry well, for it, interrupting. It, it, when I started this, I thought, well, five dollars, you know, I, I, I spend five dollars all day long. Right. What so am I going to learn for five dollars? So it, yeah. it was it was absolutely worth more than five dollars in that five day challenge. There's no question about it. So I took those nuggets that I learned. I created a better subject line in my email. So I, I had kind of a target that I wanted. We do wholesale candles for, you know, our people. So I chose the people I wanted to target that I already had in my email that we've worked with in the past that I like working with. And, you know, my, then my husband produces for them the, the actual product. So what I did is I created this um, really something they couldn't, because right now it, this, they're in their downtime and um, going to shows and, you know, a lot of these wholesalers will go to shows or they have a boutique or something like that. So I created a really good subject line. I gave them, some, I've never done this before. I, I said, you buy so many candles, I'll give you so many free, you know? Um, and, and so then what I didn't expect is they came back and some of them buy some body products too. They came back and said, well, would you do it with our, our body products that we buy from you? Yes, we will. We'll do that. You know, you buy so many, we'll give you so many free. And so we, I only sent it to five people because those were the five people that I knew that I wanted to work with. Of those five, three responded. One was a really good, decent order. One was, and the other two were in, in medium size. Um, and it generated like $2,200. And that's at wholesale price. So really upwards of 5,000 retail um, mm. it, pricing. But it generated about twenty two hundred dollars to us, twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars. So, so that got me all excited and pumped up. So I thought, well, how else can I do this? So I also, mm -hmm. since um, I sent this information, shared this, is I'm I'm getting all kinds of hat throws, man. I just love this. <laughs> I love it. 
So I, I took what I, you know, I took the same concept and think, okay, so if this worked for these wholesale customers, how can I relate this to my over 4,000 email list? So I created um, one of the best programs that we have is at Christmas time. You have people's attention at Christmas because they're shopping, right? Yeah. So, you know, we do a gift card promotion, kind of similar to some, you know, everybody else, yeah. right? So we, I thought, well, this is summertime. People are staycationing. So I created a staycation gift card program mm -hmm. and, you know, you bought so much value, then you would get, um, you know, you get so many, you know, so much dollar in um, a free gift card. And I put that out there and uh, over to our 4,000. So in my email, I could do the SMS or I can do email. So I, I, so in my system that it's not it, that I have with my point of sale, um, it will track the related sales to that promotion for 14 days. So I was able to, so I did it to the, um, I texted and I emailed it. In the email, it generated, I was sharing this with my husband yesterday. I was shocked at the result that we got. Very high, open, it's like almost a 40% open rate. So very high open rate. And because um, I, 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 my subject line was like, hey, we get it. You need, you know, lower, candles or some I can't remember how I did it but basically I, I did it around the economy we know the economy sucks so I did it based you know off of that economy uh, approach and so I said I get it you need help with this you know you need you need a, a break and it, it worked that you know we did probably close to twenty five hundred dollars that I know I can track mm. back to so so this is a probably about forty Five hundred to five thousand dollars between those two promotions um, that mm. we did, um, that that I can actually see and track that mm. we know came in the store um, from wholesale and our retail. So this is retail. This isn't even um, digital products. This is just our in in our brick and mortar store. So yeah. I'm thinking, man, if I can take this five day challenge and get you know, make these little tweaks in what I'm already doing and, and generate $4,500. Um, what else can we do here? So uh, that's why I'm so excited for this. Um, yeah. Because I know that the possibilities are endless to our store and to what I'm going to be able to do um, with a coaching program to help other people do the same thing. Yeah. Um, so super, super pumped that in, Five dollars, I was able to generate um, forty five hundred dollars. About forty five, forty eight hundred dollars, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, so, what else can we do? It, you know. And that's a that's a great example too of just delivering value up front. Us here at Legendary, you know, um, you know, if you if you analyze what what happened, that's the reason why we over deliver for five dollars is because we want people to realize that our training is good, right? So when we make the offer on five on day five for our business blueprints, it's a, it's a, it's a, you, you've given somebody results in advance, right? That's why when you're creating digital products, so many people, um, you know, think, Oh, I'm giving away my, you know, some of my best stuff. I, I need to price, you know, I need to put that in, you know, I can't give that away for so cheap, but there's an element in your marketing where you have to add a little marketing to your lower priced products, right? Yeah. And what I mean by that is you need to over deliver value so people can have an idea of what it's like to, to work with you and learn from you. And, and it, and it worked, right? Because, you, and it's, it's worked, you know, consistently for the past seven years since we've been in business, but you know, you went on to enroll in the blueprints and, and mm -hmm. that's exact because the, the, the value was demonstrated, right? Mm -hmm. The value was demonstrated that we can, that we can help you. And, um, now you're, you're going through it, the, the fishing formula section, which is the, you know, which, which people, you know, overlook that, that fishing formula section, which we give you a little taste of it on day five in the, in the challenge, that fishing formula section and in, in building your 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 fishing formula business and marketing plan is the most valuable part of your business. 
I mean, so many people spend so much time on all back end, you know, BS. Yeah. And don't build a marketing plan. Don't do enough, take enough time to think about what they're marketing, who they're marketing to, how they're going to get those people coming to their store door or funnel or, you know, swirling around their social media sites, you know, watching, you know, um, you know, chasing, hunting, you know, that, that chum section is how you become the hunted instead of the hunter. And then how, what is the magnet that you're going to use to give to get people to give you your, the, you know, you, their email. And then what is your introductory product? And then what are you going to sell once somebody buys that introductory product from you on an, on, as a second helping, third helping, fourth helping? I mean, and there's so many nuggets along the way. That section is one of the beefiest sections in the fishing formula uh, or in the affiliate marketing business blueprint because, um, you know, it, again, you mentioned this earlier in the show, the how is not the most important part. The why is. And when you understand why you're doing something, the how, there's actually quite a few ways to skin a cat, you know, right. um, and and we and you see that in the affiliate marketing business blueprint where we teach all the different free traffic strategies, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, all these different hows, but the why is is important and you understand and learn the why in the in the fur in the in the upper first sections of the of the blueprint um as well as some in the five day challenge as well um but if you know so many people just want the how 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 and and it's almost like handing somebody a a, a hammer on a construction site alone and in with a pile of wood, say, go build a house. They, they have yeah. no idea where to start or what the hell they're doing because they don't have a blueprint. They don't have a set of instructions. They don't know what the end result is going to be. They don't know why they're doing something. I mean, there's so many things I can think back to my days working construction with my dad where I wanted to take a shortcut or I wanted to do this or that because I didn't understand the why. I didn't understand that that would cause wood rot or that would attract termites or this would um, crack eventually, or that would leak eventually if I did it the way that I was planning on doing it. But my dad taught me the why behind why we use pressure treated wood here, because it, it doesn't attract termites, because it doesn't rot. This is why we use a shower pan in the shower before we pour the concrete for the floor because it's a it's a protective rubber barrier that keeps all the moisture in from ah okay understanding all those elements of the why helped you know are the reason why our houses are dry and warm and safe if we didn't have that we would be living in huts we would be living in mud huts right if you were just if we all just threw up something to create walls. It, we'd look like the show Survivor, right? Where you just grab palms. But we've understood over time the why behind doing things. And you have to understand the why behind marketing as well. And I, I just love that you you put it like that earlier in the show. Um, what have you learned about yourself throughout this journey, Sherry, that maybe is new or a great reminder as you've gone through this? Through the legendary marketer journey? Yeah. Um, I, I guess that I am more diligent, more committed, more, um, what do I want to say, uh, more, um, I, I, well, I'll just say it. I'm smarter than what I thought I was. You know, <laughs> I, I I have, you know, I really am. I, I, I'm smarter than what I thought I was. Um, so I, you know, I, I think we, put on ourselves, you know, I, I you know, I, I'm not as smart as the next person or I'm not as smart as the other, I'm not as smart as the guru or whatever. Um, and so I think just in this short period, I, I think I signed up on June the 6th, I think it was, but I have just, I'm a lot smarter than what I give myself credit for. And as I've gone through this, I've realized that, yeah, I, I know a lot of these bits and pieces. Now I'm going to learn how to put it all together systematically um, and so I'm just, it's just another part of my learning. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I think that would probably be what I would say. I'm smarter than I thought. 
I love that. I love that. And, and, and has this process allowed you, it sounds like it has to build some new confidence within you. Absolutely. Yourself. Absolutely. Cause um, you know, I, you and I have similar backgrounds, you know, I, I did come from the same back, similar background and bad childhood and blah, 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 all those excuses that we use. Right. Um, but I've learned from all of these things. I'm better than all of that. And so it, it definitely has given me more confidence. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just tell you this short little story. You know, I can remember as a child, my, my dad would say, you know, I can never, I would never mount to anything. I've mm. been on a journey my entire life to prove that, yeah, I am more than that. I am smart. And, you know, and it comes up to me all the time, you know, that, that mm. self doubt that I'm not smart. And so what, you know, like I said, what I've learned about myself is, yeah, I'm smarter than I thought I was. Mm. And, you know, those uh, words that come back up from childhood is not real. They're fake. They're, they're just a, something from Satan. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, you know, so that is probably my big takeaway from all of this is, yeah, I am smart. Mm. I, I do this. Yeah. Uh, you know, and all of the those shiny objects in the past, whenever, you know, I would think, oh, this is over my head. I can't do this. It's just because I didn't have the right training. I didn't have mm -hmm. the right educator. Um, and so, um, you know, this this why I love this training is because it's not over my head. I can learn from it. Um, so, well, I want to add to that and validate what you just said. You are wildly intelligent. You are incredibly powerful and you are somebody who is a highlight here for me in terms of interviews and people that I've talked to because of your attitude because of your application you know intelligence is not about just what I can learn it's about you know you're, you you actually don't know something until you actually can apply it Right. Exactly. So so the you know, this whole idea that people are smart based on their ability to be able to retain information and then spit it back out, which is God bless them. What a lot of the professors in our in our university system do in our and this is not to put them down. It's just to I'm sure they're intelligent in other ways, but that's not the only sign of intelligence is going to school for a long time and then turning right around and being able to talk about the things that you learn. Can you apply things in the real world when there's no safe fallback, you know, parachute for you to kind of fall back on? And business is a great place for you to be able to test those skills because you're responsible. There's no mm -hmm. boss to blame it on or right. complain about. And you've been doing that even before this. You and your husband have had a business uh, in our entrepreneurs. And as you said, are a serial entrepreneur. You are a powerhouse. You are incredible. I am so excited to follow your journey. I'm honored to be a part of your journey. And Thank I can't you. wait to have you back on the show to continue to talk about what you're up to. I can't wait to share it. What's All right, Sherry. Well, hey, God bless you and your husband. Okay, my friend, thanks for coming on. An amazing episode. Thank you for helping us end our week in a legendary way. And I'll talk to you very soon, my friend. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, my friends, you can go and find Sherry at her Petals and Wicks pages, which is the business that she was talking about, experiential, candles, things of that nature. Learn all about it and see what she's up to in her brick and mortar business. That's the business that she was talking about applying many of these skills and strategies to right away. She's over on Facebook at Petals and Wicks, spelled exactly how it sounds, no spaces, Petals and Wicks. She's over along with her wonderful husband, married for 30 plus years, I think, at least 30. Amazing. Congratulations to both of you on that. She's over on Instagram at Petals and Wicks Hamilton. Petals and Wicks Hamilton. Okay. Hamilton, H A M I L T O N. Petals and Wicks Hamilton over on Instagram. Woo! My friends, I am fired up. Seriously. I mean, this is why I do this show, is because I get the opportunity, the honor, the privilege to be able to talk to amazing people like Sherry. And there is no better way to spend my morning or at least an hour of it doing this 
And so now, my friends, it's time to take off, launch into your day or continue it. Do something empowering. Do something amazing for you and your business. If you want to get a notification, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also paste this little uh, code for you to get a notification in your email in or excuse me in your Facebook Messenger. Um, whenever we go live here at 10 a.m. Eastern time, I just posted that in the comments. Get a quick reminder and link to watch Wake Up Legendary each morning through Messenger. Join here. You can do that. I'll post just the link as well. Make sure you get on that list so you can get a little notification in your Messenger whenever we go live so you never miss an amazing episode like you heard this morning. Uh, my friends, Thank you for being here and all the amazing comments for Sherry, the great support, validation, affirmation. You all are wonderful and you're the best, most fun, most supportive community and group of friends that anybody could wish to have around them as they're learning and building the business. With that being said, one more for Sherry. Get out of here, my friends. Have a fantastic Friday. We love you all. Peace.